Audubon's mission is to protect birds, wildlife, and habitat. And we do that by engaging people to make a difference in their lives and in public policy across the country and uh, internationally. Global warming today is the single greatest threat to our mission of protecting birds, wildlife, and habitat. Buildings and construction are now the third largest source of greenhouse gas emissions after transportation and electric generation. It's critical for us to make a difference to our mission by reducing our own carbon footprint as much as possible. And in the construction of our new office space uh, was one of the principal ways that we could actually demonstrate that to make a difference to show our employees how we're making a difference, to show our members how we're making a difference, and to educate others to, to do the same. This is going to look a lot like any other office, um, but the material selection, the lighting design, the efficiency of the fixtures that are around us really are what bring it up to be green. LEED, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, is a green building certification process administered by the U.S. Green Building Council. The criteria for LEED certification fall into six major categories. Sustainable sites, water efficiency, energy and atmosphere, materials and resources, indoor environmental quality, innovation in design. For the new Audubon headquarters to be awarded platinum level certification by the USGBC, they had to meet stringent requirements in each of these key areas. We were looking for a place that would uh, reflect our environmental mission. 225 Varick was the kind of space that we thought lent itself both to achieving our environmental objectives and a good place for our employees to work. As soon as we walked out onto the floor, we knew that it had all the attributes that we were looking for. The tall ceiling would allow us to do the underfloor air. The big windows would allow us to take real advantage of natural light. We knew that Trinity as an organization also was committed to sustainable design. This building is very well serviced by public transportation. We're right near the one stop here. We're a short distance from the AC and there's a bus line that services the building almost directly. In terms of water efficiency, the project has, has been exemplary. We have waterless urinals in the men's room. We have automatic flush toilets, low flow fixtures, beyond what the building standard would typically be. This space is almost entirely fluorescent. We're using what's called a triphosphor fluorescent lamp, which means that it has much higher color rendering capabilities and a much more natural um, quality to it than old-fashioned fluorescent lamps. The amount of daylight that permeates this office is pretty amazing at all times of day. The exposures are great. We have daylight harvesting. The, the lighting within this space is going to adjust depending on the amount of daylight that's coming in the windows at any given time. Every item in this office has some small environmental story, whether it's the recycled content of it or whether it's the origin of where it comes from. There was a real effort to not have toxic materials brought into the space, so the paints and adhesives and, uh, and carpet products and furniture products all are non-toxic. We use carpet tile throughout the project. So this allows anyone to, to peel the tile up, access the floor, put it back, and no one knows that it was done. The tile is also recycled, the back is recycled, the fibers are recycled. Jessica is making the um, tables that are gonna be in our common space when you first get off the elevator. As much of my material as I can, I try to, to source from salvaged sources. Like there, like that log right there, that would make some great benches. I don't take down trees for the purpose of making tables. There's wood to be found out there, and it's a question of looking for the right stuff, knowing what you want, and then uh, working with it. We apply two inches of this on our finished ceiling. Once it's sprayed on, it provides an acoustical treatment, insulation, and uh, sound deadening transmission. What they're doing is instead of duct work, they're using the floor as the duct work. It was very important to Audubon to have an HVAC system that was, in essence, in terms of sustainability, state of the art. The air that we're bringing in here is going to be cleaner than what you'd get through an open window. We're going to be bringing in a very high percentage of conditioned outside air, exceeding the standards for office space. The air tower is essentially a small air handler. It's pulling air from above which is the return air from the space, pushing it down, 
running it by coils that are either heating or cooling the air, and then pushing it down under the floor and out back into the space. The two points that this system enables you to comply with are individual control and enhanced uh, ventilation air in what they call the breathing zone, which is the place where people exist. The design of the office has these community spaces, and, and a lot of the office facilitates collaboration, the, the low walls between the cubicles, and they have sliding glass windows between them, and, and people are actually communicating more. This is the Herman Miller My Studio. It's a cradle-to-cradle -cradle product, which means that the manufacturer actually helps to find another useful life for this material. I like it a lot. The plastic is recycled. I love the air. I love the materials that were chosen. This is my personal little heating and cooling system. And I'm able to control the flow of air in my workspace by simply turning this. The wood, this recycled wood over here, really enriches the space. It makes it feel warmer. This is essentially a cork board, but it's made from pressed paper, recycled paper. And they're all made of bamboo. This part is very important, the lumbar. See, it goes back. Every day we're trying to convince people of our mission, and now we can bring them to the space and be proud that it's, an, it's a statement about our mission. So it's good to be on the cutting edge of something that's going to be very important in the future. People are excited to be here, and that's the fun part. Just, just seeing the excitement in employees' eyes when they look around and say, this is a cool office, we like this. They will be more productive, and the more they can be proud of it and tell other people about it, the more there will be a buzz about Audubon being a cool place to work. That helps us, it's good for the organization, and it's good for our employees to be proud of what, where they're working and what they're doing. And we will be accomplishing our conservation mission in the process.